This nation's pursuit of excellence propelled it into the forefront of military success. How did they achieve such a remarkable achievement that they not only changed the battlefield forever, but also the export market? And who exactly is the mastermind behind the success? Join us today as we unravel the story of innovation, ambition, and the ascent of Turkey's drone industry. Over the course of the last 23 years, Turkey has evolved into an industrial powerhouse, with its heavy industry sector now standing shoulder to shoulder with those of France, Spain, and the United Kingdom. Impressively, it's also vying for the sixth position in the global weapon exports, overtaking Israel, the world's third largest exporter of versatile military drones. Close to 35 nations deploy Turkish manufactured drones, including the Bayraktar TB2, which has demonstrated its effectiveness in various conflict zones in recent years. Notably, this includes Ukraine, which in fact provides the engines for some of the drones produced by Bayraktar. Despite the backdrop of conflict, the remarkable advancements in weaponry and heavy industries can be attributed to the strategic initiatives set forth by President Recep Tayyip Erdogan of Turkey. These initiatives were first introduced when he assumed the role of Prime Minister in 2003. Consequently, it prompts an exploration into how Turkey managed to construct the world's most extensive fleet of armed drones and the reason behind their growing popularity. The Turkish army holds the distinction of being the second largest standing military force within NATO, surpassed only by the US armed forces. It ranks as the 13th most powerful army globally. This position, rather than a higher 6th or 7th place, is primarily due to the absence of nuclear weaponry in its arsenal. However, it's worth noting that Turkey indirectly possesses nuclear capabilities through its NATO membership and the presence of US nuclear bases on its soil. In a non-nuclear conflict scenario, any military force engaging Europe would encounter the formidable Turkish armed forces before potentially confronting the US military. Despite being predominantly Islamic, with approximately 96% of its 90 million inhabitants identifying as Muslim, Turkey's military prowess may surprise some. Turkey also demonstrates a keen interest in the production of its own weaponry, exporting a comprehensive array of modern military equipment and ammunition. Featuring advanced military equipment such as the Altay main battle tank, the Terex Infantry Carrier Vehicle and the Paz Amphibious Armoured Combat Vehicle, along with the Tulfa Heavy Infantry Fighting Vehicle and the Kaplan Lightweight Tank, the military possesses a formidable arsenal. Furthermore, it includes the Barbarous Class Frigates and the TAI Augusta Westlands T129 ATAK All-Weather Attack Helicopter, both of which are capable of operations under diverse environmental conditions. The Hussar family surface-to-air missile system and the T-155 self-propelled howitzer are additional assets that enhance the military's ground combat capabilities. The aviation segment is bolstered by the TAI Herjet supersonic advanced trainer and lightweight combat aircraft, among other advanced models. Moreover, its army's drone fleet is larger than the combined total of all European nations, featuring over 200 TB2 and TB3 drones, as well as numerous other ingenious types. These include the TAI Anker, TAI Anker 3, and TAI Ankinchi, which are not only advanced but also represent a significant investment. To provide some context, the United Kingdom maintains a fleet of only 10 American manufactured Reaper drones, which are now two decades old. It's noteworthy that despite their price tag of five to eight million dollars, the TB2 and TB3 models are equipped with highly sophisticated technology and possess a degree of complexity. Before delving into the intricacies of Turkey's premier military drones, it is important to acknowledge the singular university graduate who is the driving force behind this remarkable engineering success. This individual, Selkuk Bayraktar, produced a master's thesis that showcased an algorithm capable of landing an unmanned helicopter on extremely rough terrain, even vertically on a solid surface. Mr. Bayraktar is widely recognized as the architect of Turkey's military drone success. In 2005, at the age of 26, Bayraktar received an electrical engineering degree from one of Turkey's leading universities. Two years later, he earned a master's degree from the University of Pennsylvania. Subsequently, he withdrew from a doctorate program at MIT, realizing that he had already acquired the knowledge and skills necessary to create next-generation warfare technology. Fortuitously, his family owned a company, Bayraktar Makina, founded by their father in 1984. Initially, the company produced automobile components to support Turkey's ambition to manufacture cars by the 2000s. 
However, the company shifted its focus towards the development of unmanned aerial vehicles. Selkuk Bayraktar is indisputably the pioneer of Turkey's most sophisticated drone technologies. From an economic perspective, unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, commonly known as military drones, form the majority of export revenue for Turkey's defense industry. As per the official data from 2022, the export of drones from Turkey reached an unprecedented $4.4 billion. Interestingly, this figure surpasses the total annual defense budgets of certain European nations. This substantial revenue from drone exports significantly contributed to Turkey's overall arms export, which exceeded $10 billion in the same year. Furthermore, forecasts for 2023 predict Turkey's drone export revenue to surpass $7 billion, placing it on par with global leaders such as the United States and China in the UAV market. According to a report by the Atlantic Council, Turkey houses approximately 2,000 enterprises within the armament production sector. In August of the current year, the nation secured a monumental contract worth $4 billion, encompassing the fabrication of TB2 and TB3 drones in Saudi Arabia. The country has also brokered agreements with a multitude of other nations, with contract values spanning from the tens of billions of dollars. At this juncture, let's delve into an analysis of some of the premier and most exported Turkish drone models. The Bayraktar TB2 drone has significantly raised Turkey's profile in the field of unmanned combat aerial vehicles. This medium-altitude, long-endurance aircraft is proficient in both remotely controlled and autonomous flight operations. The drone is under the constant supervision of a ground control station, which also oversees its weapon deployment. As of November 2021, the TB2 accumulated a total of 400,000 flight hours worldwide, thus cementing its status as a cornerstone of the Turkish military. The TB2's inaugural flight took place in August 2014. A video showcasing a missile test fire from the Bayraktar TB2 was released on December 18, 2015, with subsequent tests involving laser-guided bombs. Its predecessor, the TB1, was heavily reliant on imported and regulated components and technologies, such as engines from Austria's Rotax 912 and optoelectronics from Canada's Westcam or Germany's Hensolt. However, the TB2 and all of its components are entirely produced in Turkey. The Bayraktar TB2 platform employs an intricate wing-body fusion design, complemented by an inverted V-tail structure. The propulsion is produced by a versatile, pitch-adjustable, dual-blade propeller configured in a pusher style. This propeller is strategically positioned between the tail booms and it's powered by an internal combustion engine housed within the body. The monocoque platform exhibits a modular design, featuring detachable primary components such as the wing, tail boom and V-tails. The fuselage components are primarily constructed from carbon fibre composite, supplemented with machined aluminium parts that serve as joints. Fuel is securely stored within bladder tanks, and the fuel consumption is efficiently regulated using solenoid valves. The TB2's ground control station is constructed based on a NATO specification shelter unit and is outfitted with redundant command and control systems to ensure optimal operation and reliability. The next-generation Baykar Bayraktar Unmanned Aerial Vehicle, or UAV, known as the Bayraktar TB3, is a product of Baykar's advanced engineering. Despite the backdrop of ongoing global conflicts, the TB3 surpasses its predecessor, the TB2, in capabilities and is designed for short-range landing and takeoff. This state-of-the-art UAV was specifically developed for deployment on Turkey's premier aircraft carrier, the TCG Anadolu. The Anadolu, classified as an amphibious assault ship, bears significant resemblance to Spain's Juan Carlos aircraft carrier. Consequently, the TB3 can be considered the nautical counterpart of the TB2. The TB3 is driven by an engine crafted by the renowned Turkish company Tusas Engine Industries. It boasts an impressive length of 8.35 meters, a height of 2.6 meters, and a wingspan of 14 meters. With a maximum takeoff weight of 1,450 kilograms, it has a payload capacity of 280 kilograms and can reach speeds of up to 300 kilometers per hour. In terms of avionics, the TB3 is equipped with interchangeable electro-optical, or EO, infrared IR, laser designator or LD imaging and targeting sensor systems. Moreover, it features a multi-mode active electronically scanned array or ASA radar, thus embodying the pinnacle of modern drone technology. The leading drone manufacturer, Baycar, is in the process of expediting the development of its most advanced and promising drone yet. 
the UAV Kizililma. This cutting-edge drone undertook its inaugural flight in 2022, measuring 14.6 meters in length with a 9.7 meter wingspan. The Kizililma boasts an impressive range of 925 kilometers. It can operate at altitudes exceeding 10 kilometers and can reach top speeds of approximately 740 km per hour. The Kizilelma is outfitted with stealth technologies, including an angular design that significantly reduces its radar cross-section, and an internal weapons bay. It also features an active electronically scanned array antenna, facilitating both line-of-sight and beyond line-of-sight control. Furthermore, it possesses the capability to execute both takeoff and landing operations entirely autonomously. The Kizil Elma is powered by the subsonic AI-322F engine, supplied by the Ukrainian firm Ivchenko Progress. Despite the ongoing conflict, Ivchenko Progress continues to fulfill orders. The Kizil Elma is expected to be armed with a variety of weaponry, such as precision-guided munitions, air-to-air -air missiles, and cruise missiles, all produced by Turkish manufacturers. Other notable high-performance Turkish drones include the TAI Akinci and TAI Anka. These drones are manufactured exclusively for the Turkish Armed Forces by Turkish Aerospace Inc. and are renowned for their advanced capabilities, speed and lethal precision. What do you think about Turkey's rise to military excellence? Could you ever see them become one of the top three military drone manufacturers and exporters? Let us know down below in the comments section. If you found this video intriguing and want to delve deeper into the future of construction, be sure to subscribe to the Uber Build.